Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be starting a new series, or yeah, I'm going to be starting a new series uh, called Fire Extinguisher Versus, and uh, you may notice something different. You're like, what's on my head? And it's a welding mask. It's a welding mask. This one's electronic. Um, I also got a um, another one I'll show you. I forget what it's called, but it's this one right here that has a flap on it. So I got both these, so we're gonna test out magnesium. And I'm gonna use one of these to do it. So I got a blowtorch, I got a fire extinguisher. Help. What could go wrong, right? So you guys are here. Unravel some Magnesium. Honestly, should I just do this whole thing for the video? Tempted to. No, this is Okay. Alright, so get that. Now fire extinguisher. Oh, it's a zip there. Is there? So there you go. Got it. It was a zip tie. I think that wasn't actually the pin that was supposed to be there. Let's see, I guess. Yeah, I think it's all ready to go. So, I'll put down my welding mask, flip the camera over, blowtorch the magnesium, and try to fire extinguisher it, I guess. The only thing that's gonna be hard is that I have to put you guys down some hair. I have an idea. Put it right, right there, I'd say. So that's good. Let's do that right. Yep. All right. Here it goes. This is gonna be hard. But I'll try. I gotta be prepared to like turn this at any moment. You wanna pull it? So, it did not put it out. I was standing in the wrong direction of the wind, though. But that did not put it out, like, whatsoever. It just shot magnesium everywhere. Little flaming balls of magnesium. So, did the fire extinguisher work for magnesium? No. Um, if, I would say it would be good. I think it definitely helped it. Maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. I think it, the only way to really test that would be to do it on a, on a larger scale. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Um, um, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's the whole video. Uh, see you in the next one, and... Uh,